Do you teach engine repair, diagnosis, finding the mechanical faults in an engine? At Consolab, we've developed this new engine bench, our EM141S engine mechanical faults trainer, based on a Toyota Corolla 1.8 liter engine, a uh, very recent 2016 to 2019. We've inserted permanent mechanical faults in the engine, and we've done all kinds of research and testing to ensure that these faults are repeatable. They're permanently there. So all of a sudden in your classroom, at your shop, you can walk up to a bench and in two seconds demonstrate to your students what a bad head gasket, bad compression, or a valve timing problem looks like. Now this is an engine bench and from standing a little bit away, you're gonna say, well, it's just a normal Consolab engine bench. There's a few differences. It's got no breakout box. It's got no fault box. Everything still works. The engine runs, you've got a data link connector, you've got the fuel system, starting, charging, everything's there. And if you connect your scan tool, you're gonna to get the same data PIDs and you'll get codes that will lead you down the path of diagnosis. So it's still a fully functional engine with all of those systems around it. I say this is a fully functional engine and it is. I've disconnected the injector, so we're just gonna to listen to this thing as it's cranking. And I want you guys to listen very carefully. Now, does that sound normal? Like a regular engine cranking? The guys with a lot of experience are really good. A lot of times that, oh, their ears perk up a little bit when they hear it crank because they've already identified what the potential cause is. They are already thinking about the diagnostic strategy. And this is almost something that we wish we could teach to our students. Now, I've taken the liberty of reconnecting the injectors. So I'm gonna start the engine right now and we're gonna see how it runs and you can hear how it runs uh, at idle and we'll give it a couple of th shots of throttle as well. So we'll fire it up. So what are we gonna do with this bench? We've heard that it's probably got mechanical problems. The students might have a code to go in and diagnose, but eventually they're gonna have to do a compression test. So if we come over here, we can pull off an ignition coil, pull out a spark plug, and of course they're gonna grab a compression tester and they can go in there and see and measure the compression. The other thing they can do is use a leak down tester. So of course we can pull all the plugs, we can start doing leak down to see what each cylinder's got as a leakage percentage and then do our diagnosis from there. But there's more. This bench is designed, has been designed for teaching uh, maintenance and light repair of the engine mechanical system. So contrary to a normal engine bench, we have a lot of components that can be removed. So even the radiator is bolted to the frame. So you wanna get access to the front side of the engine, get into the starter, the intake, what have you. You can very easily disconnect the hoses, a couple connectors, unbolt the bolts, pull the whole radiator subassembly out of the way. The other thing is at the front of the engine, this is beautiful. A contrary to a normal console lab engine bench designed for teaching engine performance, this is designed for doing light mechanical work. So you can remove the front engine mount completely and have full access to the front of the engine. So you can do things like the serpentine belt, the timing chain, anything at the front of the engine is now a lot easier. I haven't named exactly the faults that are in each cylinder and what all the problems are. And that's on purpose because we don't want your students to find that out. But it doesn't really matter because eventually they are. And that's okay. You know, if we say that cylinder number four has got a big hole in it, that's all right. Even if all the students learn that cylinder number four on this engine has a big hole in it, it doesn't mean that they can't still go through, diagnose, prove it out, do all the tests and really grasp the effect of that hole in the cylinder. There is one fault I'm gonna show you though. It's this one right here in my hand. This is for the CVVT valve and it's a defective component and it's defective mechanically, not electrically. It's not gonna code for having a wire cut. And I don't know whether it goes fully advanced or fully retarded, but what I do know is when I put this valve in, you start this engine, it doesn't wanna idle, it'll stall every time. And again, all of these faults like this one, they're beautiful for that because they're so interesting, so much fun to demonstrate to your students. And they encourage a lot of discussion, a lot of listening, thinking, okay, did you try this test? What does that do? What does it do to the timing? Look at the scan tool, look at the data, and what are the results? And it just, it brings so much more learning to your students. Now we've got the compression gauge installed. I haven't pulled all the other plugs and I'm not gonna fully open the throttle. We're just doing a quick demo here. But of course, 
the idea is we want to show you what can happen with this port compression. So I've done this on one of the cylinders and if we crank it over, we can see that that cylinder is not doing a very good job of making compression. As you have seen, the Consolab EM141 engine bench with mechanical faults can make your life easier as a teacher. It'll let you demonstrate to your students rapidly multiple different scenarios and systems and problems in the engine in a repeatable manner. To find out more about our products, you can visit consolab.com or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.